And now a commentary from Mumia Abu Jamal. For Revolutionary Black History Month, as February dawns, the papers and TV stations will feature programming that has more black faces than usual. Some will show movies, some documentaries, and some will feature history in celebration of Black History Month. Undoubtedly, Martin Luther King's epic March on Washington speech will be sampled. It's grainy black and white videotape, the very symbol of a bygone era, and its catchphrase, thank God almighty, thank God almighty, we're free at last. A haunting and ironic mockery of the real state of most of black America. One tape that invariably will not be shown is one of the final press conference of the nation's first and perhaps only black Supreme Court Justice, Thurgood Marshall, aged and ill, yet with the presence of mind to say, I'm still not free. For millions of black Americans, this Black History Month, while perhaps rich in symbol, comes amidst crippling joblessness, haunting home foreclosures, rabid police terrorism, and perhaps the highest black incarceration rate in U.S. history, and all that that entails. That we have Black History Month at all is due to the black freedom movements of the 1960s and the efforts of black historian Carter G. Woodson, who began his efforts with Negro History Week back in the 1920s. Yet, it begins, as do all struggles for progress, with a movement. If black mothers and grandmothers, and later black school children, didn't follow King's lead, we wouldn't know his name, except perhaps as an historical footnote. For without followers, there is no movement, and thus no progress. The great Marxist historian C.L.R. James, in his finest work, Black Jacobins, A History of the Haitian Revolution, tells the story of how the leadership, including General Toussaint Louverture, tried repeatedly to betray the revolution, only to face two immovable forces. The racist recalcitrance of the French government of Napoleon, who wanted to restore slavery, and the militants of the black soldiers, who pushed them forward to revolution. The point? People make history by mass movements, often ones which go faster and further than the leaders want. And masses make and sustain revolutions, often against leaders whose every inkling is to betray them. Millions of Africans broke their chains, and though they were penniless, hungry, illiterate, and scarred by the ravages of bondage, found weapons and the will to fight for freedom against the upholders of slavery, France, Britain, and Spain. They beat them all because their hunger for freedom was greater than anything, anything. Millions of black people joined or formed movements that fought for freedom from U.S. apartheid and the segregation system throughout the South. They made change against police violence and racist state terrorism. Movements change things. They change consciousness. Then they change societies. That's the meaning of Black History Month. It's not the first this, uh, the first that. It's not how some pretty black starlet got paid to play a harlot in a movie, or how many millions of black yet silent athletes got paid to play a child's game to entertain people. It's about everyday average black people just like you who decide to come together to fight for freedom and social change, black people and their allies. It's about making history today, not in the 60s. To quote the late Kwame Touré, organize. 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 From Prison Nation, this is Mumia Abu-Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.